glory be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, He is the Lord of the world. And <clears throat> success will be for the pious and punishment will be for the disbelievers. I bear witness that there is no God worth their worship but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And I also bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the messenger. Then his prophet, the leader of the messenger, the master of the sons of Adam, who sent out leaders and blessing upon his, his family and his companions and those that follow in their footsteps. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obey him, submit to him, and clean your hearts. Allah do not look at your figures or your bodies, but rather he looks at your attires. Or, or, or look at your attires, but rather he looks into your hearts. And pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he deserves. And today's topic is a topic about Ibrahim alayhi salam when he came to his Lord with a sound heart. The Prophet ﷺ said, tribulations would be exposed to the hearts of the people like a real mad woman, stick by stick. Any heart afflicted by them will have a black mark put into it. But any heart that rejects them will have a white mark put into it. Thus, there will be two kinds of hearts. One was which is pure, like a white gemstone. It will not be harmed by any trials as long as the heavens and the earth endure. The other is a black and dusty, like a worn out vessel, neither acknowledging good nor rejecting evil, but rather observes anything into it from its desires. Dear Muslims, the purest hearts are the hearts of the messengers. They have the most righteous hearts that is full of faith. And that is what made them dedicated to make sure that people are guided. They made sure that people only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And at the same time, they were patient for people will attack them or harm them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The friend Ibrahim alayhi salam, he told to his Lord and debated the polytheists and he destroyed their idols. He demolished their arguments until he astonished them. Then they threatened him, they will kill him and burn him. That did not stop him from calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Neither did that back him off, nor did he become weak or afraid. Because his heart is full of love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He only depended on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he only seeks Allah's protection. If it wasn't for his sound heart, he could not bear all this harm and afflictions in the name of Allah. In the Quran, the description for a sound heart was mentioned two times only. One time when Ibrahim السلام, debated his father and his people, then he supplicated that no one will be saved in the day of judgment, only those who come forward with a sound heart. And the second time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that purified his heart. And Allah is the one who knows what's in the heart and what is in the head. What made Ibrahim alayhi salam to have a sound heart that made him deserve this description, this description is that he only submitted his heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. He did not associate any deity with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He go against his people in their polytheism, their shirk. And he proclaimed that he disbelieved in their idols. And he is not afraid of them. They do not harm you or neither do they benefit you. And the verse says, For me, I have set my face firmly and truly towards him, he who created the heavens and the earth. And I am not of those who associate others with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, his son heart made him connected to Allah. He only feared Allah. He did not connect his heart to any other creations, like leaders or tyrants, and was afraid of them, even in the harshest conditions. And when they threw him in the fire, he did not beg his people to save him or the leaders. He only invoked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also, his heart is free from hatred, jealousy, and or bad morals. That was proven when his people threw him in the, in the fire pit. He did not invoke Allah on them. Also, when his father, when he promised his father that he would invoke Allah for him, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded him not to. Also, from what made his heart sad and compassionate is when he talked about the punishment of both alayhi salam people, hoping that they would believe, then Allah commanded him not to. Dear Muslims, the sound heart is a heart that is free from polytheism, hate, jealousy, miser, or the love of this world, or leadership. And a free heart is free from any doubts, or any pleasures, 
or anything that distance it from Allah or that would block it from Allah. It is a heart that is in paradise in this dunya, living and also in paradise in the life of the grave and also will be in paradise on the promised day. This heart would not be safe until it is free from five things. Polytheism that contradicts monotheism. Innovation that would contradict the sunnah. A pleasure that would deviate it from a command. Or heedlessness that contradict the remembrance. Or any desire that contradict from being devoted and loyal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibrahim alayhi salam was free from all this. And if you want a heart that follows the heart of Ibrahim, you must strive and make sure that your heart is righteous with faith, with faith in righteous actions that follow. A sound heart should not accept from the volunteers their association with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or those who deviate or make the forbidden law vocal, or negate the obligations, or claiming that believers and non-believers are brothers, as long as they believe that there is a God. Or try to mix Ibrahim faith, a tawheed, monotheism, with other fabricated religions as we see today. And what is sad is that Muslim nations are the one that is advertising for the house of Ibrahim, saying that three religions can be under one religion, which is Islam. But Islam is the faith of Ibrahim, which is monotheism and tawheed. And Islam will keep growing no matter what they do to fight it or try to stop it. It will keep expanding. And be mindful from any methodology that is deviant, that is trying to introduce polytheism into the faith of Ibrahim السلام, which is Tawheed, or make equal with other deviant religions that would confuse people or pollute their mind, or those who sell their religion cheap. This is the sad heart that we must face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment when we see him.